Hey, what's up everyone, Moy Croson here, and today we're gonna to talk about how we could use our ankles to run faster. I'm gonna start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the Performance Lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't wanna just talk about straight line speed. We also wanna talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so I really don't want to go too long into this. I want to try to make this as concisely as, as I possibly can or as concise as I possibly can. But, you know, big thing that we want to be able to understand is how to be able to better utilize the ankle. So, you know, what we're going to think about is, and I literally will do this with athletes. Let me just adjust my mic here a little bit. Um, so I'll literally do this where, you know, have me either hold on to me or, or hold on to something where you just go through the process of what the foot should be doing, right? So we go through and as we're, you know, transitioning and, and about to hit the ground, what we should be doing, and I, and I talk about this a lot, where it's it should be intentional with how we're hitting the ground, not reactionary. And so what I mean by that is that we should be going and actually hitting the ground on that front third of our foot. So people talk a lot about dorsiflexion, right? Well, you are trying to dorsiflex until you get to ground contact where, where we want to be able to really hit on the front third of the foot. I've been working because I've seen a lot of sprinters go more with like a, a slight outward turn in their foot there. And so I've actually been working on trying to be able to do that a little bit more myself. Uh, but my normal position is just to be able to land here. So I'm going through a degree. So this is dorsiflexion where my toes above my heel. This would be neutral, right? I want to be actually hitting the ground with my heel higher than my toes, right? And then from here, I want to be as quickly as I can pushing right back off, right? So I'm pushing off my foot there. Okay. When I go through that push off, I want to immediately be getting right back into dorsiflexion. So I'm here, I'm pushing off and then, you know, and, and the push off shouldn't be like a big focus on pushing back. You should actually be, be, you know, landing and transitioning off and then immediately getting yourself right back into dorsiflexion and really trying to get your toe to be able to face straight up towards the sky the best you can. And what happens is, you know, because of how fast it is and how much force you're into generating, as you go from here, there's going to be a time period where you're going into dorsiflexion as you're driving your knee forward. So then as you get the foot out in front, that will help you get this shin angle where your shin gets slightly out in front of the foot. And that allows you to go back, cycle back down through and hit that foot. And really we want to be trying to hit the foot down underneath the hip the best that we can and being able to get as much extension in the knee that we possibly can and being able to best stabilize there. And what I mean by that is that we don't want to end up hitting the ground and having to sink down a lot into that, right? There's going to be some degree of knee flexion, ankle flexion, you know, that's going to happen, hip flexion during that foot contact. But we want to be able to optimize it, right? We don't want to end up going here and having to spend a lot of time on the ground. And the reason you end up having to spend a lot of time on the ground is if you really have to absorb it. The better you can go and land and be able to transition right back off that foot will really make a big difference in being able to, you know, run faster. And, and you know, during this, I want to be able to show some uh, examples of some of the best people in the world actually doing exactly what it is that I'm talking about here. And the reason is I think it'll help you in being able to see, you know, exactly what that should look like, exactly what your foot contact, you know, right in, on the front third of the foot should look like, right? And, and show a variety of different types of people, right? Women, men, different heights. So then you could utilize that to be able to, you know, run faster overall. So uh, yeah, that ends up being the main name of game here of being able to, you know, improve your ankle range and how much force you're generating through your ankle is really being able to understand how that, that cycle should work and how the range of motion should work through there. So uh, try that out. You could do this same type of drill just to be able to feel, or even just like walking. I'd, I'll have guys just like walk and be able to really focus on what they're doing within their leg cycle. And that I think really makes a big difference in uh, being able to improve their, you know, running ability. So yeah, thanks for watching here, guys. If you like the information, click that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, you can leave those down below. Uh, check out the description. You know, we have a lot of different things going within the speed program. And, you know, I think that that ends up being really beneficial. We also have, you know, all the different breakdowns, all the things that we could provide to you from a, you know, developmental standpoint. I think that the breakdowns at the end of the day are the best thing that you could do, right? The best thing that you could actually see consistent improvement from is going to be doing the breakdowns and you know making it so you can get a understanding of where you are from an athlete perspective and you know how you can improve as an athlete and and so if you don't get any numbers if you don't get any specifics to that then it really is, it becomes difficult to be able to you know understand what are the parts of your sprinting mechanics that can uh, get better so yeah check out the the program with the without the speed pro uh breakdown program you know right now that's what it's labeled i yet i have been giving people speed breakdowns with that so if you want to get three months of training you know check that out i think that's a great option for you all right let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching like subscribe talk to you soon